first of all, um, what I want to say is congratulations. Uh, you all made it through. Although we cannot celebrate your uh, graduation in the usual way at this time, we would like to let you all students know that we do not want your success passing through quietly. Um, this is why we arranged this virtual event to celebrate the completion of your course. Um, and of course, I will celebrate with you in person when the conditions allow next year. So I still remember three years ago when uh, many of you did my job at a different time. Although we are in a very different road, um, I'm sure many of you are like me. So when you start a new journey in your life, you try to find things, figure out what is working and what is not. You learn new skills, knowledge, challenge yourself with new activities that you have never done before. Um, I'm sure that certainly applied to a lot of uh, academic tasks like long essays or dissertation. Um, I still remember some of you might tell me, I never write anything longer than 2,000 words, but hey, you got, at the end you write 10,000 words of dissertation. And you push the boundaries to expand your comfort zone, adapt to new places and develop relationships with new people. And some of those people will become your lifelong friends. During this process, some of you may have experienced anxiety, disappointment, confusion. Um, but more importantly, I hope you also experienced excitement, happiness and aspiration. During this process, you have discovered your own strengths, weakness and your own potential. Uh, I feel you are very special to me personally, um, as during these three years we have shared those experiences and the feelings together. Indeed, the past few months uh, have been tough and in many ways we never expected or could have prepared for. We have um, experienced many unprecedented challenges, but you have managed to pull through. Many of you have performed very strongly during these stranger times, despite of the lockdown situation and the distance of communication. So it proves that you are resilient, um, flexible and capable of dealing with challenges and uncertainty in the future. Also imagine the lockdown world without art, film, music, literature, theatre. So where's this? Science and technology subjects are very important for our society and the economy. The past few months unmistakably demonstrate that humanities disciplines are crucial in our daily life. They are as indispensable as the air we breathe, the water we drink and the food we consume. And you have the knowledge, skills and intellectual power to show the world the importance of humanity, the beauty of creativity and the value of critique. So looking back, I hope you will not see this year as a worldwide disruption, but a unique opportunity where you have applied your soft skills, such as um, intellectual curiosity, um, problem solving skills to deal with the crisis. As a graduate of history of art and film, you are equipped with tools to explore our vast diversified society and to discover the rich cultural heritage around the world. I also hope the wide global and the multicultural version vision you gained at the university will help you to analyze and deal with any crisis in a critical and empathetic way. I'm sure that some of the skills you have learned and practiced at the university will prove to be highly useful wherever you go and whichever career path you landed on. And time goes really fast. Um, I didn't even feel that three years has passed. So now you have successfully completed your degree course and are about to start a new chapter of your life. Some of you have already worked out what to do next. Some are still contemplating your next step. Some will move to a different place and some will stay at Leicester. Some will start a new job and I'm sure some will continue your further study at postgraduate level. So this is an exciting time, which is I hope it's not an end, but a new start. But remember, it doesn't matter how different your future past might be. Uh, here at Leicester, history of art and film is always your home you can return to. I'm sure your tutor and all our teaching staff would like to hear you too. 
So I guess what I really want to say in this opening speech is I'm very, very proud of you and many congratulations to all your success. Um, I think next uh, we'll show a short video clip from Nishans, our Vice Chancellor and the President of the University. Hi, I'm Nishan Kanagaraja. I'm the Vice Chancellor of your University. I was really looking forward to my first summer graduation ceremony with you. But we all know why we cannot hold a face-to-face -face event this year. But I just want to tell you how proud we are of your achievements, especially during these difficult times. We as a university community want to congratulate you and wish you the very best in your future. We want you to go out there and make a difference. I want you to make yourself, your family and this university proud. You are our citizens of change. All the best. Right, so you shall give the congratulations speech so we can't let students go either. So um, let me introduce, well, I, you don't probably don't need to introduce because you probably know each other fairly well. Uh, students rap to give some speeches. So first let's ask uh, Florence Williams. Florence, you here? Hi, so I just graduated from History of Arts. Um, it doesn't feel very long ago since I was looking around unis. I looked at so many, but there was something about Leicester that felt right, and I'm so happy that I chose it. Leicester Uni feels small and friendly and has allowed all of us to grow to love our subject, history of art, or film in some cases. I have learned so much in my three years at Leicester, and I've gained so many skills that will stay with me forever. It now gives me such pleasure when I visit a gallery and I can actually read a beautiful painting. The highlight of the course was without a doubt the Italy trip where we all really got to know each other. Although when we got to the 63rd church in three weeks, it was perhaps without the gusto that we set off with, but right now we would give anything to be back there. David, Robert and Sam, we can't thank you enough for all of your patience, inspiration, and it is with a heavy heart that we have to say goodbye for now. We will be eternally grateful to you for setting us off on such an exciting path towards our careers. I can't wait to hopefully be reunited with everyone again next year in our in-person graduation. Hey, some of you may know me already, but for those of you who don't, I was a film course rep for first, second and third year and your SSC rep for final year. First off, I would like to say congratulations to us for graduating. I'm not sure if it's just me, but it still hasn't quite sunk in yet. I found myself wondering how three years could have passed so quickly. I've been reminiscing a lot recently. I'm sure we all have about the friends we've made, the late nights, finishing assignments, the parties, the long days at the library. And the first time I actually went to the library and realised, hey, there's um, a lot of helpful stuff here. I was thinking back to when we first started and sat in a room for the strangers with a lecturer telling us to introduce ourselves and say our favourite film or favourite director. I remember thinking, shit, why have I forgotten absolutely every shred of film knowledge I have? This last term has been both difficult and unique. Most of us had our final lecture or seminar or visit to campus and didn't know it would be the last one. We didn't get to say our goodbyes to lecturers in person or experience the mixed feelings that came with knowing we were done with classes. Many of us haven't seen each other since March and then we had to get our heads around the pandemic and work on the stressful situations, work from home and just accept that this is what was happening. But we still did. I think I speak for everybody when I say thank you to the lecturers and staff who have guided us through these past three years and more so for being extra supportive during these last few months. We couldn't have done it without you. We're all going separate ways, finding ourselves and how we fit into society as adults. Not that I feel like I am, I am an adult, but I guess I should start acting like one. Wherever you find yourself in the next few months, good luck and I can't wait to hear about it and see you all next year. When, hopefully, we can do this thing in person with like the gowns and everything. To round off, congratulations to the graduating class of 2020. Thanks, guys.
Thank you, um, Natalie and Florence. Can everyone hear me? Um, I would like to add my congratulations to you all. A degree is an achievement in any circumstances and to graduate in the current situation is a particular achievement. You should be very proud. It's been a pleasure to teach you and to get to know you since we first met in, in most cases, late September 2017, that is in another era. I think I can say that with confidence. And I say that for myself and also on behalf of other members of staff you have known over the three years through individual modules, as dissertation supervisors, personal tutors, or through other support and collaboration. In a moment, uh, colleagues within History of Art and Film would have the opportunity to pass on their own congratulations. And um, before they do that, I should warn you that to accompany this, we have a set of slides showing what we looked like, either as an undergraduate or um, when we graduated. Um, but while that can be a little scary, um, it does reinforce what Lynn has already pointed out. We changed and developed during our undergraduate years as we gained not just a degree, but new knowledge, new experience, new friends, new horizons. And we continue to change and develop after we graduate as we move on to the exciting next phase of our life. So once again, congratulations and please do keep in touch. Thank you. Hey everyone, this is James. I can't quite match the guy's hair, but congratulations to everyone. Um, enjoy your day and celebrate your achievements. Hi everyone, this is Gosta. Congratulations to all of you who are graduating today. I'm so proud of you for what you have achieved. And I know you did not have it easy this year. Well done. I look forward to following your future achievements. I hope you get to celebrate today and please remember to keep in touch. Congratulations, everybody. You must be so proud of yourselves. Well done for a fantastic achievement, especially with the turbulent last year. I'm so sorry I can't be there to celebrate with you virtually and that we can't celebrate in person, but hopefully we'll be able to next year. Well done and have a fantastic time. Congratulations, everyone. It's, uh, I'm sorry we can't uh, do this in person, but we will definitely make up for that next year. Um, it's lovely to see you all. It was an absolute pleasure teaching you all. Good luck for the future. Thank you. Hi, this is David, in case you hadn't guessed. Fantastic that you've all graduated with such distinction. And uh, I hope you're coping as well as you can with the lockdown. I've returned to having the same length hair. That's what's happened to me. Thank you. Hello, good morning. Um, this is Sam. I'm afraid I couldn't be with you um, live, but I'm pre-recording this message to say congratulations to you all. I hope you have the chance today and really for the next few weeks to really celebrate your achievements over the last three years. It's been a pleasure teaching all of you and I wish you all the very best for the future. Many, many congratulations. You really have all shown incredible perseverance and resolve these last few months in dealing with such unusual circumstances. And I know for History of Art students, those trying circumstances have really continued throughout your entire degree. It's been an entire joy, uh, absolute joy to teach you all to share this subject I care so much about with you all and to learn from you too. I look forward to hearing about your future successes, so please do stay in contact. Enjoy today, and hopefully we can meet up physically next year to celebrate properly. Now we'd like to share a few photos that you've shared with us of your last few years at Leicester before we get to the important business of prize giving.
Right, now we come to the um, individual uh, distinctions. And first of all, we'd like to say congratulations to Dr. Julie Lane on the receipt of her PhD for her thesis on the films of John Schlesinger. Well done, Julie. I'm delighted to announce that the Jim Fanning Prize for the Best History of Art dissertation goes to Astrid Bellodis. Slight deja vu, but uh, the Luke Herman Prize for the Best Overall Graduate in the History of Art also goes to Astrid. So millions of congratulations to you on the double top. Over to Film Studies, and the Peter Baxter Prize for the best dissertation in Film Studies goes to Eloise Hall. Uh, congratulations, Eloise, I've seen you somewhere um, on Zoom. Well done. And the R.M. Banks Prize for the best achievement in Film Studies is awarded jointly to Joshua Edwards and Alexander Scarlatus. Well done, Josh and Alex. On behalf of the History of Art and Film staff, I'd like to thank our student ambassadors for their help on our open days. Beth Green, Beth Turner, Florence Williams, and Natalie Chifjola, you gave up your precious weekends, stood up for hours on end, despite your demanding schedules and coursework commitments. You came and helped applicants make the right choice for their future. We're hugely grateful to you for your support. Thank you. Um, thanks, James, David, and uh, Costa. I think, uh, especially the last part for special thanks, it shows your university life is not just about academics or, or the other fun stuff, but you also learn a lot of invaluable skills through those extracurricular activities. So now we're going to show you a short video clip uh, from, put over by the student union. I'm sure a lot of you might get in touch or have a lot of contact with them already. Hi everyone, I'm Mia, I'm your Student Union President and I just wanted to take this time out to say a huge congratulations, you've made it, you're graduates. Um, this year has probably been the most tumultuous year or one of for students on campus at Leicester. Um, you are the first and only students to go through a whole pandemic and graduate. Um, I know that the ceremonies have been postponed and to a lot of students that will be awful. Um, and a really huge opportunity that they were looking forward to having. Um, but I hope to see as many of you as possible um, next July and next January to celebrate in person. Wishing you all the best um, in your next endeavours and well done, because you made it. Hi everyone, my name is Adnan, I'm the Students Union Education Officer. Just a huge congratulations from me to all of you for graduating. I know it's in unfortunate circumstances, um, but well done even so and I hope you're all safe. Um, remember what you've learned, not only in your degree, but from each other and from the people you've met in your time here um, and utilise that to, to help change things and to help change the world. I, I have faith that everyone here has, has an ability to, to impact things and to really uh, progress the world in a more just and sustainable way. Thank you. Hi everybody, I'm Tony Magaya and I'm your Liberation Officer. So I really want to congratulate you on this amazing, amazing achievement. You guys have been through so many hurdles this year, the biggest one being coronavirus, but you came out in the end and here you are flourishing on this amazing day. So today I really want you to remember your experiences, go out in the world and slay it because the world is definitely your stage. Hi guys, I'm Carly, your wellbeing officer. I want to say a huge congratulations to everyone who is graduating this year. You have overcome so much throughout your degree. Not only have you had to deal with strikes, but you've also graduated in spite of a global pandemic. Just know that you can do anything you put your mind to and overcome all obstacles in your way. I wish you all the best of luck and I know that you are all going to accomplish incredible things. Congratulations to our fellow 2020 graduates. We know it's not been our year, but we hope you're taking some time to celebrate your achievements. So um, now you've completed your course and you graduate. Uh, so now you're, well, very soon you become our alumni. So here's a video clip put up by our uh, university alumni and the friends of the university. Um, who knows, maybe one day you'll be asked to do the same videos as well. <laughs> 
Hi there, I'm Martin Cullen, Chair of the University's Alumni Association, and I just wanted to wish you a huge congratulations on your graduation and welcome you to our 200,000 strong alumni community. Really well done, and we look forward to welcoming you to an alumni event as soon as we can. Hi everyone, my name is Will Tudor, I'm an actor. I graduated from Leicester in 2008. I just wanna say a massive congratulations for graduating today in what is an incredibly turbulent, uh, uncertain time. You've done absolutely brilliantly, so congratulations. You should be so proud of yourself, so well done. Go and celebrate, have an amazing time, and all the best for the future. Well done, everyone. Hello, my name is Johnson Lowe, lead of Hong Kong alumni community. It's been a very tough year in 2020, but you guys made it. Congratulations to all the graduates. For those who want to come to Hong Kong, I'm here and welcome you. Hello, I'm Aaron Porter, a graduate in 2006 and the first Leicester alum to be president of NUS. Today will be one you never forget. Looking back on an experience, I hope you can cherish with fondness. Whether it's the friendships that will last a lifetime, the new experiences and the horizons that have been opened for you, and for some, moving away from home for the first time. Leicester is now an indelible part of your life as you move on to the next chapter. Best of luck. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jonathan Tai, President of Leicester Alumni Ghana. Congratulations on the occasion of your graduation, and we really can't wait to welcome you to the alumni body. Just like we say in Ghana, Akwaaba. Congratulations one more time. Hi, this is S1 for Goldsmith here. Wow, congratulations, you made it. And one good thing about graduating in lockdown is you don't have to wear a mortarboard. Trust me, those hats are a nightmare, especially if you've got an afro. Plus, you are the very first students in history with 2020 vision. At last, we can go out there and make this crazy old world a much better place. I'm going to be beside you all the way. Aluta continua. This is Jamal Anderson from the Leicester Riders. I just want to wish you the very best for the future. Um, congratulations for graduating in these difficult times. It's amazing that you've done so. And, and I wish you all the best. Take care. Hi, it's uh, Brendan Rogers here from Leicester City. I just wanted to take this opportunity to wish uh, all the graduates at Leicester University big congratulations. Uh, enjoy your graduation day and obviously uh, safely have a great celebration this evening and uh, I'm well done. I think it's kind of uh, coming to the end of all these sessions, but I think a one recurring message that came out is you all made incredible achievement um, this year. And uh, I think before we finish, I will ask everybody to move to yourself and give yourself applause to congratulate yourself. Um, uh, well done. <laughs> Non, 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 non